All right, guys, let's look at lesson six, which is counting sig figs. Remember, significant figures are the precision in a measurement. There's a specific way that you count them, so let's go over the rules first. All non-zero digits are significant, so a non-zero digit is like one, two, all the way up to nine. Leading zeros are never significant, so that means that in this number, this zero, because it's leading or in front of all the other numbers, it's non-significant. It's never significant. So that means if I were to ask you how many sig figs are in this number, you would say three. One, two, three. All captive zeros are significant. If it's a captive zero, that means it's between two other non-zero digits. So let's look at this example. 4,012, we have four significant digits because that zero is significant. For trailing zeros, that zeros after a non-zero digit, there it could go either way. So for example, if you have a decimal point, the entire number, if you have zeros at the end, is significant. So for example, we have a decimal point here. So we have one, two, three, four, five significant digits. In this example, we do not have a decimal. And if there's no decimal, the trailing zeros or the zeros at the end of your number are not significant. For example, with this has not have a zero in it, so we only have one, two, three, four significant digits. So how to count significant digits? Start counting from left to right at the first non-zero number. If you have a decimal present, then count all the way to the end, including all the zeros. If you don't have a decimal, then you do not count zeros if there's zeros at the end of the number. The easiest way to do this is to do a couple examples. So let's look at this. Three examples, okay? How many significant digits are in this number? So we're first going to start on the left, okay? And we have a decimal, okay? So since we have a decimal, we're going to start on the left and every number counting to the right is significant. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven significant digits in this number. Let's look at number two. Number two, we're going to start on the left. We do not have a decimal, so that zero at the end is not going to count. Remember our rules. So in this, we have one, two, three significant digits. Let's look at the last one. We have a decimal, but leading zeros are never significant. So these three zeros in the front are not going to count when we count our significant figures. So we only have one, two, three. So we have three significant digits. Okay? Let's try some practice. How many significant digits are in 23.50? Pause the video, figure it out, consult your rules, and unpause when you're ready. Great. Well, what'd you figure out? This number has four significant digits. It has a decimal, so that zero on the end will count. So we start on the left and count all the way to the end. One, two, three, four. How about this number? Pause the video and unpause when you're ready. Well, what would you come up with? This number has no decimals, no zeros in the front, no zeros on the end. So all three digits, including the zero in between, are significant. So we have three significant digits in this number. Let's look at this one. Pause the video, unpause when you're ready to go over the answer. What'd you come up with? We do not have a decimal, we do not have any zeros in the front, and we do have a zero at the end. But since we don't have a zero, that zero at the end doesn't count. So we have three significant digits. One, two, three. Let's look at the first one. How many sig figs are in 0 0.080? All right, let's look at this, check your understanding. How many significant figures are in 405,000? We'll answer these first thing tomorrow. And if you want credit for your homework, these two check your understanding problems need to be finished. See you tomorrow.